2023, the Millennium Biltmore Hotel was created to cater to the High Society of Los Angeles, though it would serve many purposes during its life and pick up a number of spirits along the way. It would host the Academy Awards in the 1930s, feature in Hollywood movies, and served as a facility for soldiers on leave during World War II. Within the paranormal community, the hotel is best known for its dark association with the Black Dahlia, one of America's most well-known unsolved murder cases. The hotel was the last place where Miss Elizabeth Short was seen alive in 1947, before being brutally murdered, mutilated and dumped in a nearby park. Since her death, many claim to have sighted or interacted with Elizabeth Short, especially while riding the hotel's elevators. Soldiers and a nurse from the World War II era have also been sighted throughout the hotel. And then there are the ghostly tales of children, namely a little girl who frequents the ninth floor that are also related to the Billmore Hotel. Phantom sounds, cold spots, disembodied voices, and sounds of music from outdated parties are also commonplace within this extremely haunted building. What will we discover during our overnight stay? Thank you so much for tuning into Amy's Crypt. Tonight, Jared and I are investigating one of the most haunted hotels in downtown LA. That is the Millennium Biltmore Hotel. We have actually been staying here for the better part of a week now, and we have some really spooky experiences to share with you all. Uh, so strap in, because I think tonight's gonna be a bit of a ride. Alright Crypt Keepers, excuse the mask, <laughs> I want to kick off tonight's video, tonight's investigation downstairs at the hotel, specifically right here in this lobby, simply because of this image here. This is Miss Elizabeth Short, otherwise known as the Black Dahlia. She is the primary haunting here at the Millennium Biltmore. This was the last place that she was seen alive before her, her very brutal murder. She, her body was found about five miles or so from here. But many people have claimed to see her or someone that looks very much like her, particularly around the elevators here. So I just find it interesting that she's kind of commemorated and immortalized here. But also, as soon as you walk into the Biltmore on the street, there's an infographic as well displayed on the street stating that this was the last place she was seen alive and just a little bit of info about her. It is a very notorious, well-known true crime case here in California, Los Angeles. And it's very sad. She is claimed to haunt here though, one of the reasons that we're here, but there are many spirits said to haunt the Biltmore. I'm trying to reach out to them tonight. And as I said, like Jared and I have already had a few experiences, which we'll share with you throughout the night. Um, I've also got like a special thing for you guys as well, which is other people's experiences that have been shared with me via my website, which I'll be recounting a bit later. But one of them is really, really creepy and sinister and it centers down here. So I'm gonna to walk towards where something weird happened to someone. I'm also rolling ghost tube. So you see that overlaid on screen and maybe we'll get words through. Maybe not, we'll see. What's cool about this place as well is from 1935 up until World War II when this hotel was repurposed for returning soldiers, they hosted the Academy Awards here, <laughs> which is so cool. Like they've got all these old photos here Amazing, I love it. Oh, so creepy here. Okay, so this seems like a weird spot for a haunting. It's the health club, so the pool and gym area. But just wait till you hear this story, guys. Just remember this spot and how like dark and creepy it is. <laughs> because when I tell you what happened to this person, like it sends shivers up my spine, and I'm pretty hardy to all these ghost stories, but. I don't like the thought of something entering my body. I'm going to put that out there for you guys, so keep watching. <laughs> but I think now what I'll do is we'll head up to the elevators, which are said to be insanely haunted, but I need to show you guys the lobby and some of the downstairs rooms here because they're glamorous, they're ornate, absolutely beautiful. And you might actually recognize them from some feature films, some big movies. One that's got a paranormal take on things as well. So any Ghostbusters fans out there, let me know if you can recognize some of these scenes.
Alright guys, so elevator, a lot of haunting centered here. But also, I had my own really scary experience in one of these elevators. One of the scariest and most peculiar things to happen to me while staying at the hotel, and I say scary because this is one of my nightmares, literally. I went into the elevator and I was heading up to floor 9, which is the, the floor that we are staying on. And I was by myself because I forgot something, so I had to run back to the room. Got in the elevator, pressed the button, started heading up, and I heard this clonk, 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 super loud noises. And I thought, mm, that doesn't sound good. Anyway, we got to the fifth floor, and the elevator stalled. It just stopped. None of the buttons were responding. I was pressing uh, open door, open door, nothing. I was pressing other buttons like take me to another floor, move, do something. It literally sat there for like two whole minutes without moving, doors never opened, nothing. And then it just carried on its way, took me back up to number nine. Uh, I'm terrified, especially knowing that those elevators are haunted. All right, so we're gonna get off at eight. Okay, good. Do not floor. Do not. Is it saying do not get off here? Well, I didn't say do not get off, I just said do not. Do you think it's okay? I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, so we've actually gotten off at the eighth floor. This whole hotel computer. is- Computer. This is sort of like a computer. Maybe you aren't familiar with that. Depending on what era you're from. Very random response. My name's Amy and this is Jared. Can you tell us your name? Also guys, this whole hotel is said to be haunted. So many people have had experiences while staying here, all over the hotel. These elevators in particular, yeah. weird. Now I do want to show you, okay. There's like shining vibes in here as well. Yeah, there definitely is Does like <laughs> picture little twin girls standing there. Yeah. Jared and I are staying on the ninth floor, which is said to be haunted by a little girl. People have heard her running and giggling and playing and stuff through corridors, so it's pretty cool. But how many? How many of you are here? Can you tell me how many spirits are in here? A magnetic spike on the staircase. Yeah, actually, I did. I might just be here. Oh my god. That's weird. Didn't go off that time. How many stairs do I have to, <laughs> to test this? It's weird it's not going off now. Yeah, it is weird. Yeah. There's someone out here who can follow Jared and I to our room. Come on, come with us. Alright guys, I have a story to share with you. This is actually an experience that Jared had. But to make better sense of his experience that he's about to tell you about, I just want to show you this. Behind this wall here is actually our room. And just note that there's not actually a conjoined room to where our wall here would be. So I woke up, I reckon it was the second or third night. I woke up in the middle of the night, maybe 2 or 3 a.m. And I heard a banging on the wall behind our bed. I didn't react or think anything of it. I thought maybe we just had some noisy neighbours. I did think it was odd on a Wednesday night or in the middle of the week that there were going to be people up that late, but I thought, you know, probably just noisy neighbours, I'm just going to try to go back to sleep. The noise eventually stopped and then I did go back to sleep. It wasn't until the next day when I started walking down the corridor out of our room that I noticed we don't even have neighbours next to us on that side of our room. There's actually a fire escape there. Unless someone was standing in that fire exit banging on the walls at three in the morning on a Wednesday night, I don't know, I thought that was a bit weird. I really hope something like that happens tonight. Let me get <laughs> banging on the wall, banging on the 
the door or something. That'd be really cool. But we're staying right on the very end here, right on the corner. So I think we're in a very good sheltered spot for noise. So the Millennium Biltmore Hotel, downtown LA. It's such an interesting place. It's eh? definitely a beautiful building, that's for sure. And I like how they've got like memorabilia of all the movies like downstairs, it's really cool. It's old school glamour all the way and super, super haunted. Some of you may not know this, but Jared and I stayed here a few years ago, didn't we? We did, yes. It was before we started making videos though, but you did get some photos, right? And wrote a blog about it. Yeah, so this was one of the first blogs I ever wrote on my website, amyscrypt.com. You can actually go there and check it out. And I'm gonna encourage you to go there and check it out after you watch this video because it's a really interesting piece. It's one of my most popular blogs I've ever written. And what's really cool about it is so many people have commented on that blog. Did you know that? I know people leave comments on your blog from time to time, but I didn't know that one was a popular one. There's heaps on the blog like for this many? hotel. Like a lot. Okay. <laughs> and it, what's really cool is it just reiterates how haunted this place is because a lot of people who have stayed here have gone to that blog, looked up, oh, is this place haunted? Holy crap, I stayed there, I had this experience and they wanna share it. So in the comments are a lot of people's experiences that they've shared with me and I wanna share them with you guys and you. <laughs> so what do they say? Like, What are some of the things that people say they've experienced that aligns to the other stories that you've heard here before? All sorts, and I think there's a few that will kind of line up with our own experiences too. Okay. All right, so this first one, I'm just gonna to read to you. I felt a haunted chill the second I walked in. My husband got a severe case of the flu. Our room freezes us and then turns so hot. The maintenance guy seemed reluctant to fix the air, almost like he knew what would happen. We did feel very cold. Well, I felt fine the first night. Second night, I was freezing. Third night, I was so hot, like super yeah. hot. Yeah, it's gone up and down for us. Yeah, and I don't know what tonight has in store for us. And we haven't been using our air con because we actually don't know how to use it. So it's just been off. Yeah, so that one's interesting. So this next one talks about someone's stay back in 2019. They were on the 10th floor. As soon as this couple checked in, they just felt like they weren't alone. And that's a very common theme in these. They started to unpack and felt a very quick and sudden sense of fear. They also said that they took photos in the lobby. And in one of those photos was shadowy clouds all moving quickly together across the lobby near the ceiling. So I think that's really, mm. really weird. I don't think we caught anything on our camera photos, did we? Because we've taken some photos in the lobby. Mm, I don't know about tonight's mm. photos, but not back in the day. This person also said that their girlfriend had a really bad sleep and that was because she could hear noises next door as if a party was going on namely she could hear two male and one female voice and it, she described it as being like old hollywood style voices that's sort of like i mean i heard noises in that wall behind us it didn't sound like a party though and it didn't sound like people talking it just sounded like someone banging or shuffling against the wall so this next person said that they didn't actually feel anything when they were here, but again, they took a ton of photographs and they said years later, they went through the photos and they believe that they captured a ghost on camera. So basically they said that they caught a photo of a bartender who was semi transparent and was also not shown as a reflection in the mirror that they were standing before. Ooh, like which a I vampire. Think is so creepy. It's like vampires, isn't yeah. it? Like you don't have a reflection. Mm. So we have another one. Uh, this person's husband woke up at 3 a.m. and they said the room got very cold. It happened to us. <laughs> and they could hear a man screaming outside of their window, but they were up on the fifth floor. Just to like put it out there we have heard people screaming outside and we're on the ninth floor so maybe is it not possible that's maybe someone on the street we confirmed the people screaming outside by looking outside the window this person also tried to confirm that they looked outside the window and couldn't see ah, anyone okay. good to so pretty weird so they heard that went to the window checked it out and then after that they heard the sound as if a needle was hitting an old record player well I'll insert the sound yeah, 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 I know what you mean, I know what you mean. Okay, that's weird. I haven't heard that. Yeah, but that freaked him out so much that he wanted to leave. So we had another person that headed down to the gym area and they went for a midnight workout, which I was that dedicated. <laughs> and they felt as though they could feel a presence down there, just as if there was someone watching them or someone there with them. It didn't threaten them until they started to feel as though something had entered their body and they started to overheat. And because of that, they were like, nah, I'm out, I'm getting out right. of here. But to feel something enter your body, 
I don't like yeah. that. Ew. So here we have another group of people uh, took the elevator up to the 10th floor and they said the moment that they stepped off of the elevator on that 10th floor, they felt uneasy, they felt weird, they felt as if they were very heavy and couldn't breathe properly. And that only eased when they left the 10th floor. Ah, we've got another person here and they said that their room got very cold as well. Uh, they also mentioned that every time that they went into the hallway, they felt that it was just creepy out there and that whenever they would walk, it felt as though there was someone beside them, someone following them. Another person said that they heard a lot of doors slamming throughout the night, but whenever they went out into the hallway to check on this, there was never anybody there. My last one is actually kind of cool. So this is to do with the elevator again. This person got in the elevator, they were alone and there was no one in the elevator. They were heading up to the fifth floor and when they got in, the button for the fifth floor was already pressed rather conveniently but they also claimed that they felt as though as Elizabeth Short's spirit is here and I just found that to be a very interesting claim that someone could pick up and feel that anyway should we get into investigating yeah let's do it well that's weird really yeah k2 has gone crazy yeah, the second I turn this on, it's going off. Must be some interference in this room. It actually looks like it's going to the music. Can you make it go to red? It kind of is. And dance along. We want to see red. Is there another camera? So Ames, do you want to like explain what is going on here? <laughs> One of the many strange things that happen here are people claim to hear parties and music and people talking and still socializing from a time capsule. <laughs> there is a little party going on in here. There is. <gasps> and the other one, oh my oh, god! <laughs> They're all going off. <laughs> You like the music? <laughs> okay, so I thought I would use some trigger music and use music from the era to get things sort of amped up. Put on some music that I can use in my videos from, you know, that time. And as soon as I turn the K2 on, it's been going crazy. It's been going crazy since. Because it's so consistent though, that makes me think it's not paranormal. Unless it like fully stops. Why is there something triggering that in our bed? Yeah, we're getting mad radiation while we sleep. <laughs> what is in this bed? <laughs> oh, how all the couples went off. Yeah, Every the single one. And it, it was as soon as we started talking about one, like they all lit up. It was like a little party in here. Had I the know. music, the lights, everything. We just needed the REM pod. If you can go right towards that red light in the middle like this, you'll make my whole night. Could you please do that? If you do that, I'll put the music back on. Maybe that music needs to go back on. Maybe that's what triggered it. I'll get Jared to dance as well. <laughs> I think you need a dance near the rim pod. Come on, please go towards the red light. Maybe I'm not doing um, like 40s, 30s music properly. Yeah, that's better. <laughs> K2's loving it. Woo! <laughs> it's like it's going to the music. It's like it disco lights. <laughs> If you're new to this channel, by the way, these are motion sensors, so when they move, they light up. So the fact that all of them moved before without us touching the bed is crazy. I think the K2 meter definitely must be some, something interfering in this room. What do you think? 
I think so too. It does look like it's got some music though. I like it. <laughs> Obviously, something in this room is setting this off. We're not going to claim that this is paranormal, but what I thought we'd do is walk around the room and try to see if we can find the source of it. And what's interesting is... Oh, Capel! Capel! Thank you. Sorry, but what's interesting about this is that there's only one spot in the room where this goes completely silent and it's the place you'd least expect. Check this out. Firstly, just to show you, another cat pool going off. Oh, another one? Oh, that's the same one. Everywhere in the room, like it's pretty much the same. It's gone crazy, right? The one place in the room where it's not going crazy, right next to me and Amy's phones. Hang on, let's see. What the So when I bring freak? it away, it goes crazy. Because literally the whole room is nuts, hey? The reason why that's really weird though is normally phones set these off. <gasps> Capples! Oh crap. Sorry, that camera's getting it. Okay. So we've had, we've had all three of these Capples going off now. It is crazy and it's going again. Now for those of you that normally watch our channel, like these don't always go off. Like there's some episodes where we get no Capital action at all, as we put it. But all three of these have been going off, which is crazy. It's even more rare that all of them go off. Anyway, so we're in the bedroom now that we're staying in and we've decided to run a Vox session. I'm going to hit record now. Ooh, thank you so much. Before it was um, this one here that was going off all the time, now it's that one. Can you make them all light up again, please? I'm going to unmute Vox now and we're going to try Vox to see what we can, okay? What's going on thank again? you. So my name's Jared and this is Amy and we want to know if there's anyone in here that wants to communicate. If you can, come near this device. Um, you might be able to manipulate it to make it generate sounds and you might be able to communicate with us. Is there anyone here that wants to communicate? Did you like our music before? I like the music. The music was fun. <laughs> Can you tell me what year it is? Who was it that was banging on our wall last night? Why do people get very, very cold in this hotel? I heard a noise over there, behind the other camera. Same. Like a click, it almost sounded like a click of the camera. Like not, it didn't sound like the, the room um, expanding or anything like that. Can you make another noise please? Okay, there is street noise, but... Is it just me or is it really weird that we're not getting anything on box? Like, not even a peep? I not think... Not even any interference, nothing. I agree, that's really weird. It's weird because we were actually um, having a chat with our friends Prime and Quest the other day and they said the same thing happened to them at one of their locations. Where they said it said things and then it just stopped. And then it went quiet. It, that said something when it turned on. Yeah, yeah, while I was talking it said something and now it's just saying nothing. And things were all going off while the music was playing. And now they've stopped. Do you think maybe the music was the conducting catalyst? it? Yeah, like... I have no idea. If you come near this device you might be able to make it generate sounds. And let us know that you hear. It's just as weird that nothing is coming through. Yeah. Oh. Alright, we're starting to get words now. Well, noises. Noise. Can you play some music for us? We've just played some for you. Capital. Thank you so much. Can you make the other two devices, other three devices light up? Or come to this device over here. So they really like the cat balls. The cat balls are always a favourite though, aren't they? I mean, maybe it is a child up here. I didn't really understand what it said then. Who is this? Okay guys, this has been really weird. So as soon as I set up for the investigation, and pretty much the moment I started playing that old type music, 
we started getting pings on devices and things were happening and it felt like you know there was some kind of energy in the room like a frenzy and i found that quite interesting then we moved on to try ghost tube vox and what's even just as interesting to me is that it was so quiet we didn't really get much of anything through on that and that's not to say the tool doesn't work or this place isn't haunted or there's no spirit here or there was a spirit here or there was a spirit and they left who knows maybe it's very difficult for spirits to convey uh, what what they want to put forward. Maybe there are better methods that we could use uh, Maybe things are easier for them doing something else or maybe they just feel more comfortable Communicating in a different style in a different manner. So Jared and I have decided we're Scrapping what we're doing and we're going to move on to something else We're going to try doing an SD session and just swap things up and see if we get any different results Your favorite segment guys Estes method and this time I've got my authentic Qantas airplane eye. What are these called? Uh, sleeping mask. Sleeping mask. <laughs> I was so stoked when I seen that Qantas was giving us those sleeping masks and I was like, I'm taking this for our paranormal investigations. <laughs> so yeah, I'm ready to go. So you know the drill, I'm gonna be listening to the spirit box with noise cancelling headphones, and my Qantas mask, and I'm not gonna be here what Amy's asking and I'm just gonna be relaying what I hear on the spirit box. Okay, my name is Amy, and the guy laying on the bed there, his name is Jared, and... This is work. Do you work here? So we've been staying here a few nights. And what are you here for? To talk to you, actually. So I didn't want to jump straight into our investigation on night one. I wanted you to feel comfortable around us and know that, you know, we're not sus, we're nice people. And if you do feel comfortable, can you just say hello or tell us your name? I've traveled all the way from Australia here to talk to anyone who might be at the Millennium Biltmore Hotel. This is? This is the hotel, yes. Heard piano music. That's kind of cool because, you know, hearing parties from the past. You are. Or music is common. What song was playing? Crazy. This might seem a little crazy. I know it seems a bit, probably a bit strange with this guy laying on the bed with a red face mask on and these funny things on his ears, but I promise we're not here to do anything weird or to hurt you in any way. We just want to talk. So if there's somebody here and you want your story known, are you able to give us a sign? Maybe you can use Jared to talk through. There. Where is there? Do you want me to go somewhere? Two here. Two here. There's two of us. How many other Where's the exit? Are in the room. There's one exit in this room. One way in, one way out. Can you tell me who was banging on the wall the other night at three in the morning? Um. Dunno. Hmm. You find out, can you let me know? Are you happy? I'm happy. I'm very happy to be here, you have no idea. It's America. I'm very um, fortunate and happy to visit. More piano music. Is someone having a party? Hey Amy. Hey, how are you? You are. How many spirits are in the Biltmore Hotel here? Eleven. Eleven spirits. That's amazing. Thank you so much. Now I've heard that there are some children's spirits here. Is that true? Purple. Purple, could that be a favourite colour? Is there a little girl on this floor? Maybe you can tell me the name of the little girl. We can get it. I'd love to know her name. Only if she wants to share it though. If you can find out who was banging on the, the wall last night, can you do that now for me? 
Or maybe do it again tonight even? I suppose. Thank you, I love that. You can make a really loud bang. Like now. Can you tell me why you are here? What if? Good evening. Hello. I need you to know. Please tell me anything. That's what I'm here for. I'm here just to listen to you. Girl. The girl that's on this floor, are we able to know her name? Keep in touch. The guy on the bed, do you remember his name? Did you just hear a loud noise then? The guy on the bed, do you remember his name? Again? The publisher? I can't. Is this something you wanted to I write didn't. about? I'm mute. Mute? Maybe you can use Jared to help you talk. Can you use his voice? And again. Also Should be twice. My watch did beat just You then. bastard. You're angry at somebody. Somebody hurt you? Liar. Do you know who this person was? Yeah. Do you... Welcome. Can you tell me their name? Or tell me your Over name? there. Is that person Absolutely. in here? Okay, any name please. I understand you're probably trying to give me information. I turned 50. 50. 50. Happy birthday. For you. What year did you turn 50? Father. Can you tell me why you I'm scared. Has to be stopped. Some of these things seem a little bit dark coming out. Who are you? I. Can you tell me what the year is? It's kind of hard. This. I understand that it might be hard to talk to me and communicate, but that's okay. Please do your best. I'm doing my best to try and interpret what, what you're saying. He. Who is he? It's a conspiracy. There are a lot of theories surrounding some of the things that happened to Elizabeth Short. Do you know who that is? It's coming back. This hotel was actually the last place that she was seen alive. It started going a bit quiet towards the end there. And I think I was getting really comfortable. <laughs> maybe falling asleep <laughs> because it was so quiet towards the end there all right jared so how are you feeling after that estus method i am like really tired like all that central deprivation is getting to me like i'm really tired like i'm ready for bed <laughs> so i don't yeah. know why don't we set up some cameras which i think is what we plan to do anyway but why don't we get the new thermal camera out and set that up yes we've been, we've been experiencing like hot cold temperature shifts the nights we've been staying here so maybe that'll be interesting to see if that picks up anything yeah i think that's a great idea so many weird temperature things are said to happen here and we've had experiences of it as well so okay we'll do night vision and thermal see ya Cool.
peepers. I hope that you've enjoyed this episode. Jar and I have loved filming it. We absolutely love LA, love California, love the US. <laughs> so excited to be back. But I really hope that you did enjoy the video. Uh, it's been a strange one. It's been a strange few days because as I said earlier, we've been here for quite a while and every single night different things have been happening or we felt different, particularly temperature. Now I'm filming this exit before I go to sleep honestly so that I don't forget so I don't know what's going to happen the rest of the night but already we've had cool activity the cat balls while the music was going off like that whole moment for me was weird the estus we had some strange things come through as well I don't know what's going to happen while I'm asleep I'm looking forward to reviewing it already though even though I haven't even filmed it and I'll point out anything of interest for you guys but if you see something or you notice something in this video please let me know or if you have any other suggestions for where I should go in the US definitely leave me a comment because I'm always looking for new places to investigate also I just want to say something Jared and I had our first baby roof bar tonight <laughs> what did you think Jared yeah it's not bad it's kind of like a picnic bar I feel like it was a cross between like a Snickers and a Mars bar and it was good. I, yeah, I was like, what is this baby roof? I'm going to get it. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember to like, comment, share and subscribe. That really helps me out. If you want to do more reading on this place or read the comments that we uh, said earlier in the video, then head to my website, amyscrypt.com. You guys can follow me on social media. I'm at amyscrypt on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and TikTok and I post bonus content on my patreon and my youtube members they are linked below but thank you so much for watching creep keepers until next time